As you're ready, we'll begin to alternate palm press along the insteps of the feet, moving from the heels of the foot and rhythmically rocking up to the balls of the foot. Use your legs to help convey this rhythmic rocking sensation throughout the feet, the ankles, and the lower leg. We'll continue to move up the shins for stocking tiger. Continue to alternate palm press from left to right. Bring the leg off the table, supporting under the bent knee and ankle as we prepare for Lazy Susan. Begin to circle the femur in a clockwise direction, lifting the knee up and over to the opposite side as far as it'll go, and then move in a counterclockwise direction as well. Let's begin at the ileocecal valve pressing for nine points along the digestive tract. On your client's exhalation, press on the right side between the belly button and ASIS toward the navel and the table. Move in a nine point pattern. Point two is more superior and lateral. Point three, a little more superior and lateral. On the exhalation, press toward the navel and the table. Moving in a clockwise direction of peristalsis or elimination. Point four is below the right rib cage. Now moving on for the arm series. Take a position on the table and place your foot inside your client's armpit. Invert the foot so that the pinky side of the foot is pressing into the armpit. On a client's exhalation, go ahead and traction the arm distally away from their body. You wanna make sure that after your foot is in place, you're not adding any extra foot pressure but rather the traction of the arm away from the head creates all the pressure. Hold here for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. Then walk in yourself and your client's arm to the side body, prepare for arm traction too, placing the foot into the rib cage. On your client's exhalation, support the hand and wrist, traction distally and toward the floor. Now moving to waterfall hands by taking the knee to the floor and place your client's elbow into your elbow crease. Open the palm toward the ceiling and begin to stretch the fingers and thumb toward the floor. This is a great stretch for the wrist flexors. You can work all the fingers and thumb at the same time or you can focus on individual fingers. You can use your thumb into the wrist crease as a lever to intense. After we've done a little range of motion, we begin to add a little more stretching, perhaps moving toward light or medium, ear to shoulder, chin to shoulder, and moving through center, ear to shoulder, and chin to shoulder. Don't forget to get that chin all the way to the shoulder before moving through center. Go ahead and begin at C7 and press the cervical vertebrae directly toward the ceiling, moving up each vertebral level toward the occiput. See if you can count each cervical vertebrae, all seven of them, as you move from C7 all the way up to C1. We're firmly pressing the spinous and transverse processes anterior so the bodies of the cervicals move forward, creating nice space through the neck. We'll move to the side of the table for yin-yang spread, placing your lower forearm on the iliac crest that's closest to you and the opposite forearm parallel to the medial margin of the scapula away from you. We'll alternate spread opposite hip and shoulder blade away from each other and add what's called a rolling pin, moving your forearm from pronation with the palm down to supination palm up. We're going to be working the tibialis anterior of the foot that's on top. We'll flex the knees and palm press that tib anterior from the ankle toward the knee, back to the ankle. Rhythmic rocking, stretch and press at the same time, and then release and reposition your palm. Moving to sitting cobra, we'll place a pillow or blanket 
on top of our client's seat. Move on to the table and place our ischial tuberosities, our sit bones, right on top of their sacrum. Lift the inside of their forearms to the inside of our thighs. Bring your feet on level with their shoulders and on the exhalation, lift into a light seated cobra. On the inhalation, allow the client to come down. Exhale, lift the shoulders and chest and back up for medium back extension.